Sometimes when you're making a game, you'll need to know how to convert an array position to a grid position. Perhaps, for example, your inventory is an array, but you display it to the screen as a grid. And often you'll need to know how to do the reverse as well, turn a grid position, a column and a row or X and Y value pair into a position in an array. And with that, hello everyone. My name is Sam Spade, and in the next few minutes, I'm gonna talk you through how to do exactly that. Let's start with turning an array position to a grid position. To get the X or column value for a grid out of an array position, you simply take the position in the array and you mod it by the width of your grid. To get the Y position or the row position, you take the position in the array and you div by the width of the grid. And it's important that you use div and not the slash or the divide sign. And if you're not familiar with mod and div, mod essentially gives you the remainder, whereas div gives you how many times the number goes into it without the remainder. So to see an example of why this works, let's take an array of nine positions, so indexed from zero through eight, and turn it into a three by three grid. For the X column, we can take any value in the array, such as two, mod it by the width, which in this case is three, and get its X position. So two mod three is two, three mod three is zero, four mod three is one, seven mod three is one, and eight mod three is two. And to get the Y value or row value, again, you use the div operator. So two div three is zero. And indeed, that's the row we would want for the value two in the array. Three div three is one, four div three is one, seven div three is two, and eight div three is also two. So next up, we have, how do you reverse this? How do you turn an X and Y or column and row value into a position in an array? And I actually think it would be worth it to take a moment to pause and figure it out for yourself. So I'm gonna be quiet for just a second so you can hit the pause button. All right, so to convert a grid position to an array position, you need the Y or row value times the width plus the X or column value. And again, we can see an example of this where Y times width plus X equals our position in the array. So if we wanna figure out what this position in the grid is in the array, where Y is zero, X is two, we would say zero times three, which is zero plus two, which would equal two. One times three is three plus zero equals three. One times three is three plus one equals four. Two times three is six plus zero equals six. And two times three plus two is eight. So now that we know how this works, let's switch over to Game Maker and see one way to write this in code. So I've set up in a create event, an inventory array, which just gets some random values put into it. And we're gonna draw this as a grid. We're gonna do a simple for loop, i equals zero, i less than array length, i plus equals one. And then here we go, i mod width, i div width. And again, note that we're using the div operator, not the div symbol. And then we're gonna pass in the column and row to a custom function, which I'll show in a moment. But the custom function just turns the column and width in grid space into room space. Because obviously if I actually drew it as zero, one, two in room space, it would be too small to actually see we need to expand those numbers so that it's gonna be multiplied by size and then offset by the grid position. But here you can see we're converting an array position into an X and Y position or a column and row position. And here I'm doing the reverse. So I have a function that just makes sure our mouse is inside of the grid. But if it is, then I have a function that just converts our mouse X and Y to a grid X and Y and then uses the formula we talked about before where we say row times width plus column to get that position in the inventory. And this will just print a number to the screen. So I do wanna keep the focus on these formulas right here, but for completeness sake, I am gonna just run through the other code very briefly. Our grid has a width, an offset, and a spacing. We create our inventory and then we loop through it just providing them with random numbers. For drawing the inventory, we just take the column and row that we're passing in, we multiply it by the spacing and add the offset. And then we use the built-in draw a rectangle function to just draw a rectangle there. And then the draw text function to draw the number we're storing in our inventory. And then we have a couple functions that turn the mouse X and Y into a grid position. And this will only work in this project because it's based upon the exact position of the grid in the room. And then we have a function that just checks whether or not the mouse is inside of the grid by making sure that the value returned by X and Y to grid is within acceptable ranges i.e. not less than zero or greater than or equal to width. So I've run the program and here we go. We have our grid, which again, the actual data for this grid is just an array. We're only drawing it to the screen as a grid. 
but we can click anywhere we want and get the value of that position in the array. So I hope that's helpful for you in making your game. And if you'd like to learn more about arrays or data structures in general, check out these tutorials down below.